Hey friends, so I've been bringing you tons of yoga content. I want to start doing um, some more stuff because as we know, um, holistic wellness and self-care go well beyond just yoga and our physical practice on the mat. So if you've been following along, we put one of these awesome little facial massage tools in our October wellness box. And I want to do a video and show you guys how to use this. But what you want to do um, as a base before you start using on this, this on your face is use some kind of face serum. So if you already have a product that you use, that's wonderful. You can totally use that. You don't have to make something special. But you want to have some kind of oil or serum on the skin before we start using this tool on the face so that we can help glide and we're not causing friction or tension on the skin. So next week, we're going to dive into how to use this beauty. I thought we'd start this week with how to make a facial serum. So I have been using this blend um, more or less. I've tweaked it over the years for about a decade. And as somebody who really battled with sensitive skin and adult acne, I can tell you that this was a total game changer. Um, I tried so many products and did so many things. And I really had a hard time finding something that my skin liked. And when I finally settled on this and switched to essential oils and started switching to natural products, I really found a lot of success with my skin. So my skincare routine is charcoal soap that my mom makes. So it's all natural. Um, there's no additives, no fillers, no, no um, fragrances or, or dyes or anything. It's a completely natural, as clean as it gets. Um, and I use that daily in the shower and then I usually use a witch hazel toner at night um, just a little pat on the face rub it around and then I use this blend um, as my face serum I will say in the summertime I tend to use it at night instead of in the morning because um, it does take a little bit of time to absorb into your skin it is an oil that we're putting on the skin so um, I find that a lot of times in the summer if I'm running right outside and I'm gonna be in the heat it's not really comfortable like my skin can't breathe because that oil is still sitting on top of it so a lot of times I will use it at night um, this is also like my magic go-to potion for anything skin related you get a bug bite a small cut anything like that just a dab of this on it pretty much takes care of anything skin related um, all of the essential oils that we're going to be using are awesome for the skin and this is a recipe that you can tweak to your liking with different carrier oils I know these are all backwards sorry um, I like to use grapeseed oil as my base um, I'm sure that I might like a different oil at this point but this is the one I started with so I'm not messing with uh, what works um, grapeseed is great for sensitive skin um, I find that it absorbs a little faster than other oils so this is just mine of choice there are lots of essential um, carrier oils Oils that are great for the skin so like I said you can tweak this recipe to your own liking to products that you already have or that you've already used and really enjoy so today we'll be using grapeseed oil because that's uh, my go-to and then the essential oils that I put in here are lavender frankincense and copiaba so I'm using um, a plant therapy brand blend blend sorry can't talk today fantastic franks so this has four different kinds of frankincense in it which is covering kind of all the bases you can use just a single um type of frankincense and i'm going to do up a blog post for you guys also with some more written information and some links for where to get all this stuff um, and then i do a little bit of vitamin e oil so when i started this way back when um, it was just the grapeseed oil lavender basic frankincense and I've since expanded over the years and added in a little bit of vitamin E and the copiaba. Copiaba kind of acts as like a magnifier, just making everything in here better. Um, so I'm going to show you um, basic dilution recipe, um, which is where you should start. Uh, you can always tweak and add a little bit more as you go and as you get used to using this, but especially if you're new to using essential oils and especially on your face because the skin on your face is more sensitive, you're going to want to start with basic level dilution of, of the safest way to use these products. Um, I know a lot of times we think essential oils, like they're natural, or maybe we don't really think that they actually work or as, as powerful as they are, and we can tend to kind of overuse and abuse them, but they're no different than taking a pharmaceutical. If you take Tylenol every 
every day, even though maybe that's safe, it is going to be taxing on your body. So essential oils can be the same way and your body will also build up a tolerance to them and they won't be as effective if we overuse them and we don't use them correctly. So we want to make sure that we're using them safely and correctly to get the best benefit for our, for our bodies. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a low dilution rate. I have a one ounce bottle here that I'm mixing um, with a little dropper that I'm going to mix up my solution in. So I'm going to do nine drops of each of the essential oils. So we're going to start with the essential oils first. And we'll do nine. Two. Of course, this doesn't want to cut out. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. There we go. And I think I actually got 10 in there, but that's okay. If you're going to go heavier on anything, the lavender is the safest, and lavender is just amazing for your skin. So you can always go a little bit heavier on that, but start with the 9, see how your skin reacts to it, and then tweak from there. And we'll add the frankincense, and it doesn't matter what order you do these in. We're just going to mix it all up, and doing it right in the bottle means there's nothing to clean up. It's really easy. And then we'll do nine of the copiaba. And then I have no measurement for the essential. I'm one of those people that just throws a little bit of everything into stuff. Um, but I know when we're sharing recipes, we kind of need to share recipes, but I just do a little bit of, a, of the vitamin E oil. It kind of acts as an extra preservative. Vitamin E is good for the skin. And of course I'm spilling this. I'm gonna put that in next and we're gonna to top it with the carrier oil to just fill up our bottle. So fill up that little bit of And then we'll take our grapeseed oil and just fill up the bottle. A little bit of practice, you can get really good at doing this. I used to make a huge mess. And there we go, so that took what, like a, a minute maybe tops to actually fill the bottle and do the do the thing and just give it a little bit of a shake. And you're going to want to throw some kind of label on here so you can remember what it is. I don't always do that and I have lots of miscellaneous bottles that I have to smell and try to figure out what they are because I don't label them. <laughs> so don't be like me, label your bottles. So all right, so that is our face serum. So like I said, you can use this every day, morning and night, just one or the other. Um, this is great to use before we use our little massage tool. So in our next video next week, we'll learn how to do that. And like I said, I'll put up a post on the blog with this video with the written recipe and some more information about why these essential oils are involved, um, what properties that they're bringing to the skin, what they can do for us, some other suggestions of carrier oils that would be great as a, as a different option if maybe you don't have grapeseed or you like something else. Um, and some links where to get this stuff. I love Plant Therapies Essential Oils. I'm obsessed with them, so I will include some links for you to shop with them. And um, I think that's it. And if you're not into the whole DIY thing, you don't want to make this yourself, just send me a message. I'd be happy to mix you up a bottle and either meet up with you if you're local or ship it out to you. And uh, I hope to get it up on the website also in a few days in the shop, so you'll be able to just click um, in the shop and order a bottle if you'd like to do that. I know not everybody maybe has oils or likes to make stuff, so I'm happy to do it for you. And uh, thanks for hanging out with me, guys. I will see everybody next week for more videos, and I look forward to bringing you some more great content and other stuff off the mat. Bye.